you want to relive your awesome nostalgic memories with the Nintendo DS games. Some amazing titles like Metroid Prime Hunters, Super Mario 64 DS, and many more on your iPhone and iPad for free. You will need an iPhone emulator like Delta or Prominence, which all are available for free on the alt store. Let's talk about it. First, let's make it clear that technically ROM files, if you don't own or have owned a actual copy physical of the game, the ROM file you're downloading from the internet is technically illegal because you never paid for it. But that aside, if you have bought the game in the past and Nintendo is so greedy and annoyingly that they're not letting you have access to that title anywhere at all in the current day because they don't support the game on current Nintendo Switch and they actually killed the Nintendo DS, what the heck are you gonna do? Let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. An emulator is a software that allows the iPhone and iPad to simulate a virtual console or, or device like the Wii, GameCube or Game Boy, Nintendo DS, you name it. In my opinion, the best ones are the free ones and that is Delta by Riley Stout and the second best is Prominence. I will show you how to install those on your iPhone and get the games ready to play. You will find the emulators in the alt store, which you will need a computer like a Mac or Windows to install it onto and then to your iPhone. It is an easy and free process, so no worries. The process of installing the alt store is a little long for this video, so I have a little one on this bubble on top where you can go check it out and then come back to this video once you have installed the alt store on your iPhone or iPad. Once we have the alt store, we go to the iPhone or iPad and open it and then look into the browse tab at the bottom and scroll till you find Delta. It works just like an app installed from the app store. So install it, then open it. You will see here that there are no games. So you're going to have to go find them online. Just search online for the game title you want. Then, then find the ROM file and download it. And just look for the most popular search results Remember, with the imminent EU enforcement to Apple for sideloading apps into iPhones being a legal requirement, the methods for iPhone emulators might be changing soon, so stick around with a follow and I'll keep you updated. For now, download titles that you have owned before or currently do and the file will come for non-DS titles as an ISO file type after you unzip it. The Nintendo DS files should be NDS type at the end of the file name, not ISO. You will grab that file directly from Delta and it will save it to your library in Delta. Now, when you try to boot it up and load the game, it won't work because Nintendo DS titles require a BIOS files, not the Game Boy or Nintendo 64 or the Ninten Super Nintendo. Those ones don't require a BIOS files, only the Nintendo DS. Also, they don't require enabled JIT, which if you're trying to learn about enabled JIT, little video related to that. But Nintendo DS, you're going to need three files called BIOS files, and I will explain what they are in just a second. First, I highly recommend you get a mobile gaming controller like this Backbone controller or the Razer Kishi 2. I have videos and playlists related to that in case you're interested and an Amazon affiliate link at the bottom that helps the channel if you use it. But the reason why I recommend getting these is because games like Metroid Prime Hunters and others on the Nintendo DS especially are going to have really weird clunky funky weird controls and these make it playable like Metroid Prime Hunters it's unplayable in my opinion without an actual controller so be warned and let me know if you need help selecting one in the comments now back to the Nintendo DS BIOS files you will need to search for these online because they are property of Nintendo and from my understanding I can't share them and no one can legally. I'm not a legal advisor, but I'm gonna play it safe. So just search online for Nintendo DS BIOS files and you will need to find three. One is called BIOS7.bin and BIOS9.bin and the last one is firmware.bin. Then open those in Delta 
They only need to be found or grabbed from within Delta once and they will always work from there on out. Just keep them handy, you know, just in case the source that you get in from gets crushed by Nintendo, as we know they love to do. Remember, it doesn't work with Nintendo 3DS titles. And if there is ever 3DS support, I will let you know. Now you can save states in the games and migrate those between devices and even use cheat codes and skins for the virtual controller. If you want to learn more about those things in Delta, let me know, hit me up on my socials or the comments and make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I'm in 7 your host at Richie Rich Lives. Till next time, sayonara.